Hello, all you cool kids out there. Thank you guys so much for joining me tonight. Of course, I go live Monday through Friday at 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. If you don't know me, I am Daisy Collins of TsunamiRose.net. Thank you guys so much for joining me tonight. If you guys like junk journal related videos, you know that I post pretty much a video every single day. So thank you guys so much for joining me and for subscribing. I'm trying to get up to that 7,000 subscribers. I'm just about 6,500 uh, going strong right now, and I'm trying to get to that 7,000 so I can do another giveaway. Hello, Jane. Thank you. Nice to see you. Um, uh, so tonight we are going to be making these little um, embellishment, little, I'm going to make them pockets, but you can totally make them tuck spots, like just, uh, uh, just glue right here, and then you can make that a tuck spot. And I also, um, Last time that I used these little photos, hi, Susan, hey, BB, hi, Sharon, welcome, welcome, everybody. So last time I made these little um, photos, I got a lot of requests for, like, the actual photos in my shop, so I finally have them in my store, ready to go. I only have, uh, like, 28 sets right now, maybe 26 sets. I sold a couple already, um, so if you want to get them, uh, there they are. Um, you can check them out. Oh, Awesome, Jane. Oh, that's great. You can get the um, decoupage flowers and you can check those out. So, um, hi, Emily on the East Coast. Very cool. Very cool. So, what you're going to get is um, I'm sending them off in these little bags. I'm kind of just folding this over and sending you the little bag. I think it's really cute that way because the pa it's just such a little package. You get um, 50 of these little mini photos um, for $12.95. And um, I send them in this little cellophane package. It's got a little bit of washi tape here. And you basically get 50 little mini photos. They're about an inch and a quarter by two inches and a quarter. Super cute. Some of them are a little bit bigger. Some of them are a little bit smaller. And you get a little bit of an assortment. So you get 50 little mini photos. And uh, like I said, last time that I used these, a lot of people requested them and they're all printed on photo paper of course so that's uh now they're available in my shop so that's what i'm going to be working with tonight as well as um some flowers from my mystery boxes that are also in my shop hey hello elvis is a big sweetie and cindy's here thank you guys so much for joining me so i hope you guys are ready to make these and i'm still using the scraps from the paper pads let me show you the paper pads i'm using I gotta move some stuff out the way. I also have to use the glitter ones. I can't forget that. Okay, um, I am using the Spring and Bow from Recollections. I'm also using English Rose Garden from Recollections. And I don't oh here it is. Okay. And since I'm gonna be using some of the foils, I'm also using the solid rose gold uh matte stack from DCWB. So that is quite exciting. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So thank you guys so much for joining me. I do appreciate it. Hello, Sass. Hi, Dale. Welcome. Hi, Christy and Cindy. Everybody, thank you guys so much for joining me tonight. So I hope you're ready. We're going to make a couple of these. I'm going to be here for at least an hour. So I hope you have us. We're going to have some good fun. And I do have some little extra pieces, so we're going to figure out how to use those in another project. So that is exciting. I have a bunch of scraps here off to the side. And so I'm going to show you basically how I made these. Um, basically, what I did was, of course, I did, the, I did four strips. And the strips kind of vary in size. So they don't need to be like a specific size or all uniform size. They could be different sizes. It's okay. So there we go. But there's my four strips that I'm going to do. And let me sew them together. I'm just going to use a zigzag stitch. Just zigzag stitch um, four times, basically. So here we go. Right? The rose gold. Ugh. That matte stack is the best matte stack in the world. Oh, wait, I wanted to do it over here. That's right. So you just want four strips. 
and I cut this paper to four inches. So there, I guess all, all of them are going to be four inches wide. So that was kind of helpful to get them uniform somewhat, at least in that aspect. So it kind of cuts off one step <laughs> of having to like even them out. They're all four inches wide. Okay, so after you do that, and of course I'm not gonna use any glue. I did use glue in the beginning, and then I was like, wait a minute, I don't need to use glue, because of course I'm, I'm not into, like, gunking up my needles, right? I hope, <laughs> Emily, they did not. I just keep working. I need, I really need to stop, and my husband's like, you really need to stop. I know, I know. I will one day. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to put these two strips together. We need two strips that are wider than the photo. So... As long as they put together the two strips are wider than your photo, that'll work. So let's put these two strips together. Oh yeah, usually I show it, but I didn't today. I am using uh, the Brothers Project Runway Limited Edition CE1125 PRW, I almost said CRW, but it's PRW. So that's the little uh, sewing machines I'm using. So we did the four strips there. Now uh, we just did these two strips here. Okay, so now this is longer than my photo. So then we're going to put the photo here in the middle somewhat and kind of chop off the rest. And that's where I get these little extra pieces. So we're going to figure out what to do with those. So now we have this right here, right? So now we can put this uh, on top of this collage here that we made. And I can put a flower behind it. If I can find a nice one. Here we go. This looks nice. And of course, like I said, these are from the mystery boxes in my shop. Uh, let me get you guys the link to that. So you guys can see if you guys like these flowers, check them out. Okay, so again, no glue. So we're going to put this here. And it's going to interject in the middle there, so it'll be sewed on. like that and then we're going to place it where we want it to be and I kind of move it so that the photo is a little like crooked kind of adds a little bit of interest okay so now I'm going to zigzag stitch around the photo to adhere that to the whole background <laughs> Let's go a little bit this way. Thank you, Jane. Okay, so here is that little collage that we made. Now it's all adhered. Not all entirely. I'll go back in it with glue. But now that it's adhered to the background... I am going to grab one of my little words. This one says flourishing. That's pretty cute. So let's add this somewhere. Maybe we'll add it right there. That would look kind of pretty right there. Kind of interesting. Let's do it. <laughs> There we go. So here is something you could do with a bunch of strips, the little photos, or just a little something that you could put right there that you can kind of frame. But that looks really pretty. And like I said, I'm going to make this into a pocket. So I'm just going to glue around the edges right there. So isn't that beautiful? So we're going to make a couple more. 
until, because I have a lot of junk journals, I'm going to be releasing, I'm going to be working on my um, spring junk journal collection. So I have a lot of junk journals to decorate. I have about 20 junk journals that's going to be in my collection. I keep having these like little bugs. Oh my God. Because they like my light. I don't even know where they come from. So sorry if you see them. <laughs> They're just like these, the tiniest little gnats. Anyways, so I have about 20 junk journals that I'm going to be working on. So I have a lot of junk journals to decorate. So I have a lot of embellishments to make, as you can imagine. Yeah, it's terrible. They love my light. I bought these uh, LED lights and they're blue light. And apparently these bugs like them. And so that's why apparently you're supposed to have only like yellow light bulbs in your house. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> so <laughs> after I go live, it's really funny. After I go live, I go and I switch over to my yellow light bulbs so that I don't get any bugs. It's so weird. I know. I mean, it's going to be quite the collection. I'm really excited about it. I'm hoping to get it out in April. So if you can imagine, I got like a month to release 20 junk journals. So it's going to be quite um, the task. <laughs> so I have a lot, a lot of embellishments to make. And um, yeah, it's going to be kind of fun. <laughs> It's a little crazy, but I want to do it. So I got to prepare a lot of embellishments. I'm really excited about it, though. I get pumped out of making, like, a lot of items. I don't know why. I'm into it. Okay, so let's do this soon in a little frame. I'll have to figure out what to do with these little pieces. And we'll just put this here. And let's see, let's add a flower. Ooh, this one would be pretty. So we got this. This pretty flower over here in the corner. Now, let's sew that. Okay, this is great. Perfect. Okay, so now I need a little word. Um, let's put dreamy. Why not? Let's put the little word dreamy. Because I think that would be beautiful. That would be quite cute. Okay, so here's another little collage that we just did. For a total of six strips, a flower and a little word, and then one of my uh, mystery bags, number six, of the tiny faux vintage photos that are available in my store. What are we making today, Lori? We are making these tuck spots. I'm going to be using them as pockets, but you can use them as tuck spots also. And I finally put out the little mini faux vintage photos that everybody's been requesting. So they're finally in my shop. So you get 50 of them for um, $12.95. And they're about two inches by like one inch and some change. Like an inch by two and some change. A little bit bigger. So you can check those out. Uh, let's see, that's the flower ones. Where is the 
Oh, here it is, mini photos right here. You can check these out right here if you want. Hi, Robin. Welcome, welcome. Okay, so there's the mini fo the photos if you want to check those out. So now let's make, uh, let's move on to the next one, right? We are making as many as we can in my little crafty hour that I do here. So let's pick some papers. Ooh, this one can be all pink. Why not? Make this one all pink. Somebody stop me. You can't. Oh, you can't stop me. Ha ha. <laughs> Emily, thank you. So glad that you are. I have a lot more ideas for more mystery boxes. I just gotta find the time. Oh my god, it was on my hand. Gross. They're just the smallest little bugs and they're so gross. Okay. Okay. And they only come out at night. <laughs> Only at night. I don't know why. Okay, so here we go. We're going to put this spot over here. I'm telling you, it's because I put on these lights, and they're blue light, and it's terrible. So now I switch over to my yellow light bulb sometimes. Okay, so here we go. It's all pink affair here with some gold foil. Loving it. Okay, so let's make... Uh, we'll make the background, the the photo stand out by putting it on some teal paper. Just need to make sure I get a little thicker one. Mm -mm -mm. I want to do it on teal paper, though. Let's see, I need something thicker. Just looking through all the strips I have over here. Okay, here they are. This is what I wanted. Here we go. Okay, so this and this. This one's thicker. So let's do these two. Wait, no, I want to do this one. No, it already has one of those. Oh my god, I'm so indecisive. <laughs> okay, let's do these two. That'll be better. Right there. I'm glad you enjoyed them, Sass. Okay, so we got the little background for it. And we're going to cut it to size. And then we'll place it down. We need a flower. So let's add a flower somewhere. Well, it could look pretty on top also. Okay, so let's do that. This one is gonna be a little bit different. So I'm gonna do this first. Right there. Let's see here. Let me get them over here. They're just so cute. The only issue with these is I didn't have this problem before, but I do put in the description that if you rub the photo, you do get, like, your thumbprint turns black. So, like, but you'd have to sit there and, like, really, really rub it for it to turn black. Or you handle a lot of them and then your fingers turn black. I don't, I mean, you just wash it with soap and it comes off, but I don't know what's wrong with the ink. So, I did lower the price more than I would have if that hadn't been an issue. So, I do want to make sure everybody knows that. I'm trying to be truthful about it. Get this over here. Okay. 
Like, I handled a lot of them, and that's why my fingers kept going black, but if you just touch it, if you just touch it, it's not going to leave your finger black or anything. Okay, so, there we go. We got the little collage with the little girl on it, and we're not using any glue here, just because, I don't know, I've been very anti-glue lately, I guess. Okay, so I'm going to put this flower here, and I'm going to use one of my little words. Yeah, Christine, I'm working on it. I'm trying to build my stash up. I'm working on it. Okay, and then we're going to do this. So we're going to use... We're going to glue these together here with no glue. Okay, there we go. Now, I did want to try one thing. I might try this next one. Basically, what I want to do is I want to make the strips just like this, but then I want to cut it. And then it could really be um, a tuck spot. Right now, I want to, you could use these as tuck spots, but I'm going to use them as pockets myself. But you could definitely use them as tuck spots. Let me get some water. I'm a little thirsty. Okay, so we're moving on. Let's test that out, see if it works. <coughs> um, excuse me, my husband is coming home. Let's see, he's got milk for my cereal. All right. Yeah, we're going to sew four strips together again. Hey, babe. All right, one more strip. Oh my God, you guys, I have been binging on Downton Abbey. I've watched it before, but I forgot where I was, so I just started watching it all over again. <laughs> just been like oh my god yes i've been in love just binging i'm on i started yesterday and i'm on season three okay that's what binging is called okay so we got the four strips now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna cut it diagonally i really don't know how successful i'm gonna be at this but it is a junk journal there we go that's gonna be i could even do it with my actual cutter i'll probably do that next time yeah, I will definitely do that with my with my cutter next time. Ooh, my needle came up. I mean, my thread came up. So give me one second to figure out why. <laughs> okay, at least it didn't get stuck. Don't get stuck. Let me thread this again. One second. Okay. This looks really cute though, this little triangle. I'm kind of into it. I won't lie, I'm into it. Okay, let's see. Of course, I like to sew around the edge. So. Oh, I had to buy a new one recently myself. I don't know what I did. <laughs> I went in there trying to do something with it, and uh, it didn't work out <laughs> at all. Okay, so here I can put here just like this without anything else. Let's see what that looks like. Ooh, I just moved it, of course. Don't move. One more. Actually, one more now. 
There we go. And then I am going to add a word because why not? Why not? Let's put in original. Why not? Little original. That's cute. And we'll just put that there right here. And there we go. Now it is a little tuck spot. So same technique. Kind of pokes out a little bit there, but that's okay. Why not? <laughs> it's quite all right. Oh, it's fun, you guys. The sewing machine, like I said, I'm a newbie, too, so. Wait till you see people that know what they're doing with their sewing machine. I just kind of fumble around. And it kind of sticks to, I stick to the basic and kind of to the stitches that I know work. I'm not going to lie. I'm still kind of intimidated sometimes. And people ask me, like, why don't you use other stitches? Well, because I'm kind of new to this, you know? <laughs> okay, so we got this little thing here. And on this one, let's just do, like, a little flower or something. Let's not do a photo. What do I got? Let's see. Something kind of little, but not too little. Why do I like this flower so much? Use something else. Mm. Oh, here's one of the blue ones that's kind of little. That one's pretty. Okay, so we're going to use the blue one. Right? Me too. I'm totally into the look of stitch on paper. Tell me I'm not. I totally am. Let's put positive on it. Yeah, that'll be cute. And these words are actually a lot bigger, but I printed two pages out on one. So it makes it little. Which is great. <laughs> True, Dale, true. <laughs> okay, so here's this little tux uh, triangle. We're going to make some more of these, too, because these are cute, and they're pretty simple for the most part. So let's do the four pieces of paper. Like that. <laughs> I'm just using white thread, really. Just white thread. Let's do... Um, oh, why not? Let's do a layer of butterflies. Wait, no. Let's do a layer of this purple to kind of switch it up. And my thread came out again. Awesome. <laughs> I'd be more upset, but I've seen a lot of other YouTubers and it happens to them too. So I guess I'm, I can't be mad. As long as it doesn't just happen to me. It like breaks the thread or something. Straight and zigzag. That's pretty much all the all the stitches I use. And I have a hundred stitches to pick from. It's just, you know, the quickest. And as far as I'm concerned, the most efficient stitches for this. 
There's decorative stitches, but this is definitely quicker than any of those. Okay, so now we do the butterfly at the very end. So that way you kind of transition into some different colors besides the pink on top. That was my thoughts. Okay, so here we go. Now let me cut it with my cutter so that way it's a better <laughs> straighter cut one moment let me get that okay so i got my cutter here this little itty bitty cutter <laughs> let me cut from corner to corner here corner to corner as best i can of course Okay, that's better than I would have cut it by hand, so yay. Awesome. So now we have the two halves here. And I did sew around the edge on these just because, I don't know, I like to do that. <laughs> it's something I, I like to do, so that's what I'm going to do. So let's do this here. <laughs> Gonna do the same thing. Same thing over here. We can put something on. So last time we did the flower and then another photo. So let's do that again. Let's do a flower and a photo. So we got the photo. And we're going to do, she does not look happy, but I'm going to put the word happy on her. <laughs> well, why not? And then over here, we're going to do a flower. I don't like that. I don't like it. That's too big. Let's see what else I have. Let's see. It might be too big also. Ooh, that could be work. Okay, this could work here. Put that like that. Ooh, Aaron, if you don't, if you haven't watched uh, <clears throat> Downton Abbey, I suggest Downton Abbey. <laughs> it's just what I've been watching. TB, TBH, I've been watching Downton Abbey myself. That's probably old news. It's just new to me. <laughs> And then also, uh, Arrested Development is good. I love Arrested Development. It's too funny. Um, what else is good? Downton Abbey is the best, you guys. It's so pretty. It makes me want to, like, wear fancy dresses around the trailer park. <laughs> okay, so there's this beautiful corner here. I love it. So here's my little tuck spots. Okay, so let's do the whole zigzag around the edge. This so like I said, I started yesterday and I'm already on season three <laughs> of Downton Abbey. So... I guess I could say it's pretty good. 
I guess so. Okay, we're going to put the word happy on her. So let's do that. Ooh, I should have done it the other way, but okay, whatever. Okay, so there's this little text about Rahia. The little mini photo. You like Downton Abbey too, Crafty Lore? They also have, I think, like, Sense and Sensibility. They like TV show or something. I'm going to watch that. That's on my next list for sure. And, um... What else? Okay, so now we're going to do one of, um, one of these, if you haven't seen. We're going to do one of these. Now, kind of these pocket, also tuck spots, but kind of pockets. So I'm going to do a little bit of both to the screen here. And then we'll do this one. Why not? Why not? Okay, so let's do the backgrounds. I guess I didn't use this one. No, yeah, I did. Okay, so let's do this book. And let's do this polka dot because that would be cute. Yeah, I do watch a lot of YouTube too, but I just got... I figured I've been paying for my Prime account. I might as well check out what they have on Prime Video or whatever they have. So I did, and they have <laughs> Downton Abbey, and I'm like, what? Like, I would have paid for this a long time ago if I knew they had Downton Abbey, because I have not been able to watch that TV show. Like, it's not on Netflix. It's not on Hulu. It's not on, bootlegged on, you, on YouTube. <laughs> So I actually had to pay for that, <laughs> which I was happy for because there's a lot of movies on there that I really like, and um, I'm actually pretty excited about it. I don't know if I'll do this or this one. I don't know yet. Maybe I'll do this one. That does look pretty. Okay, let's see. First, you could glue all this, but I don't want to wait for the glue to dry. I'm like really impatient. I have things to do. Okay, let me get one more over here. Right there, just like that. That looks beautiful. Get all these off here. And then let's put a word on there. Let's slap a word on there. Let's <laughs> make it a little interesting. I think I'm maybe making a Downton Abbey movie. Not certain. Ooh. Better catch up, you guys. <laughs> I'm the only one that needs to catch up. Everybody else has, like, been caught up for years. <laughs> I'm late to the show. Okay. Okay.
Okay, so here's this one. Pretty. I love it. With some of gold shimmer on some of them in that beautiful photo. Again, that I released on my shop, the mini photo, mini faux vintage photos. So that is adorbs. Hit that thumbs up button if you guys like easy ideas, tips and tricks uh, for your junk journals. Uh, like I said, I post a video pretty much every single day. So do make sure and subscribe. I'm trying to get over to 7,000 subscribers. So I do thank everybody who uh, comes and hangs out with me every night. I go live Monday through Friday at 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Of course, all the cool kids already know that. <laughs> all the cool kids like Lori and Jane and Crafty Laura and Maria and Dale and Judy and April and uh, Jane, Judy, y'all are too cool, honestly. And Teresa, of course. <laughs> hello, hello. Okay, so one more strip. One more strip. Sis, sis, sis. Mm. I guess we could do this one. So I did cut, like I said, I cut all these pages down to about four inches wide. So all of them are four inches wide. It kind of makes it a little bit simpler to align. They're all the same size. It cuts out a step. So that's one idea. <laughs> cut all your strips down to be the same size or all your pieces of your scrapbook paper to be the same size and it really helps <laughs> move it along. Okay, so we got this. Then we gotta get a photo. And let's see what papers we use on the background. Um, I kind of want to pick some that kind of stand out from the background, obviously. I think this, let's see, this and this one might be nice because it'll just be the this up here. And that'll be a nice balance. Okay, so let's do that. So let's do two strips here. And you just want it to be wide enough for the photo. So you only require these strips. Judy, it sounds better because it's a new one, girl. I had to go out and buy a new one. I opened it up. I was able to open up this part right here. And then I, like, messed with something right here. And then it was just loose. And I was like, oh, no. <laughs> like, there's no way I could put that back together. Like, no way whatsoever at all. There's no way. Like, at all. So, <laughs> I, had to, uh, I had to go get a new one. That's why it sounds better. <laughs> okay, so I got these little people here. Let's cut this to size. And I'm going to have these things here. I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but I'm going to do something with those. So I'm keeping them. So here we have the background of the little photo. And let's add a little flower. Just because it's adorable and all the cool kids are doing it. Maybe I could put a red flower back here. That would be pretty, actually. It would stand out against the pink. Okay, so now... Again, I, you could glue it down and be way easier for you. It would make your life a lot easier. I just don't. And I do like to make the photo kind of crooked on the paper. Not really crooked, but like just well, strategically uh, lopsided. Just to add a little bit of interest. Tabs with them. Ooh, that would be a good idea. Paper clips also. Yes. Jill, you're on vacation, girl. That's awesome. Cabo. This would be a great time to be there. 
nice and fresh, not hot yet. Mm -hmm. awesome. I'm jealous. Paper clips, yes. Also tabs, yes, Dale. Thank you. I will I will definitely incorporate those ideas. I need some chapstick. Give me one second, you guys. Oh my gosh. Uh, today's episode is sponsored by Chapstick. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, so we have these pieces, and then we're going to add a little word. Because bird is the word. Let's add, oh, this says friend. That's perfect, because they're all friends. Oh, so cute. Okay, here we go. Okay, so that looks good. Not hot, just perfect. That's what I'm saying right now. It'd be perfect time to be there. In a month or so, it's going to start to get hot. <laughs> okay, so here's my little pocket. So we made just we just made these two little pockets. And then we're also going to, right now, we're going to switch over to this style right here. This uh, more of a tuck spot style of it. Still kind of using the same technique. Okay, so let's put four pieces of paper together. Let me see, I have a lot of paper I haven't gone through. Here's some of this like magenta style. Actually, let's use these soft pinks. But I will throw some foil in there. Just kind of disrupt it a little bit. Have a little fun with it. <laughs> I don't actually make a lot of tuck spots, so this is for everybody that asks why I don't do a lot of tuck spots. <laughs> I mostly do pockets, I'm not going to lie. I do a lot of pockets and a lot of envelopes. And some people have called me out like, where's the tuck spots, Daisy? <laughs> I'm like, wow, people are really concerned about my lack of tuck spots. I really should address it. <laughs> It's a really serious thing out here. <laughs> Real criticism, you know? I could take it. I could take it. <laughs> they were like, we need more tech spots. <laughs> okay, that went a little crooked. I, that's going a little too crooked for my taste. Like, why? Hmm, um, 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 um. Let's see if we could still um cut it sideways anyway. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Hopefully the next one will be a little easier. Again, if you guys don't know, I am going to be releasing my spring collection of junk journals uh, at the end of next month so I have <laughs> I have one month I've given myself one month deadline to um, <laughs> finish my junk my 20 junk journals so I'm gonna be very busy I need to make a lot of tuck spots a lot of envelopes a lot of pockets I need to make a lot of embellishments I'm going to be very busy, you guys. So I'm going to be going live a lot. I don't even like to scrapbook any, anymore without going live. It's so weird. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, people want to see this. I need to put cut, I need to go live. <laughs> so let's do one more. Let's see what other, what else, what else am I missing? Oh yeah, I don't have this. Put this over here at this spot over here. So I hope you guys are ready to watch my journey <laughs> as I get this collection done. I've already posted a lot of videos on how to. I've already posted a lot of videos on how uh, how I did the covers. That was kind of boring, just doing covers and covers and covers. So I've kind of gone back to doing embellishments just because you know you got to switch it up a little bit. <laughs> You don't want to get bored, definitely. So I avoid that by kind of bouncing through the whole process of the journals, just whatever I feel like working on. 
So let's get these little tuck spots here cut from edge to edge as best as possible. Just like that. Just slice it like a sandwich. Hopefully this one works. I don't know if this is going to work. I really don't know. I guess it... <laughs> I guess that doesn't look so bad. Let me cut these down a little bit straighter so that way they're not so obviously crooked. Okay, that's better. That That's a lot better already. <laughs> okay. So there's that. Oh, I just hit my head on the camera. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so trying to find ephemera around Cabo for my vacation jump drawings. So just... Jill, I don't know about ephemera. But if you're looking for lace, you should ask for, uh, no, wait, I don't know what they're called, actually. Teleria, teleria, I don't know what they're called. But there's this one store that has a lot of lace that I love to go to. They're in usually most of the Mexican stores. Oh, I'm reaching over. Hang on. It's called Parisina. La Parisina. Parisina. Lace and fabric store. So La Parisina, like I said, they're pretty much a lot of uh, Mexican uh, cities. So you can find them usually there, and they take debit card, which is what I freaking love about them, because in Mexico, where I go to, because it's not very touristy, not a very touristy area, so not a lot of places to take debit card. <laughs> which just kills me inside because I don't like carrying around cash. So if you if you go there, they have really good prices on lace. And I never purchased their fabric, but they're mainly a fabric store. So next time I go there, I'm definitely going to go check out their fabric section. But for now, I need to use these bed sheets. <laughs> But when I go to Mexico, I can't wait to go. I need to stock up on some lace. My grandma already told me she wants me to accompany her back on her way back to Mexico. She's going to go. I don't know when she's going to go. But when she does, she wants me to go with her. She's already like, so save your money. I'm like, okay, grandma. So now I have to because grandma said so. <laughs> So I don't know if that'll be this year or next year. I don't know. We'll see. So again, if you guys want to check out in my shop at tsunamirose.net, uh, these little faux mini vintage photos, they are in my shop uh, right now. So you can check those out. They're about an inch and a quarter by about two inches and a quarter. Or a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller. But they range. And you get 50 per pack. So... We've already got a nice little stack here of tuck spots and pockets that we're going to be using for this spring collection that I'm super excited about. Let's do this little fella here. He'd look cute. Here, let's go over here. And more over here. Ooh, I didn't go around the edge on this one. Okay, I'll live. <laughs> Normally, I like to go all the way around the edge with my sewing machine, but I did it in here. Okay, okay. Lesson learned. <laughs> so let's grab another little word. And these are also from my shop. They're my store. They're vintage uh, vocabulary words. And I have been using them a lot lately. They're just really versatile. See, I'm going to show off his little feet. Okay. Now, if you print them out, they're bigger than these. But um, I print them out two pages on one. So they're really, really tiny. So that's great. So there's this one right here. Let's see. Abril says, I have found... Some nice fabric there. Haven't been there in a while. Do you print your people on photo paper or cardstock? Uh, the ones that I'm going to be selling, they are on photo paper. So it is shiny photo paper. They're all on photo paper. 
which is what makes them so cute. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to make sure I go around the edge on this one. And I've pretty much just been sticking to the zigzag stitch. Because I love the zigzag stitch. Yes, they're just photos. I mean, you can, you can, I also sell the set. And you can uh, print them four pages on one page. And you'll get them to be that small as well. So let's do the flowers, and they're under my um, ephemera sets, if you want to check out the printable part of it. Um, let's see. Too big. Yeah, that could be pretty. Still a little bit too big, but hey. Let me cut this one down here. Cut that off. It's a little bit more acceptable. <laughs> yes, Lori, you could just just buy a yeah photo paper and just print them out four per page, and then they're little. I have really been enjoying making them that small. They're really cute. Okay, I have time for one more little tuck spot here before I got to go. But I do want to thank you guys so much for hanging out with me tonight. And I will be here uh, tomorrow at 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You guys know. And uh, if you haven't already, make sure to join journal cool kids group on facebook where we all post um our inspirations and what we've been working on um as long as it's junk journal related you're welcome to post there as well uh did you go to school to learn photoshop or did you teach yourself uh eula i actually taught myself how to use photoshop just through um tutorials on the internet and um practice <laughs> really I mean I've had a lot of practice since I was 13 years old um but yeah and then I went to school to learn um, about art and design and marketing and advertisement and all that it's kind of all rolled into the art program a lot of fun actually and I think that's what I feel like um kind of elevated my graphic design was going to all that art school and learning all the rules of art and all that. A lot of help. Thank you, my parents, for that. <laughs> Thank you, parents. <laughs> okay, so let's do a little word over here. And then that's going to be it for today, you guys. Let's do this little word that says noble. That'll be the last tuck spot of the night. Yes, there's always rules in art. <laughs> and that's exactly what I learned in school. That there's art, there's rules of design. And you got to know the rules in order to know when to break the rules. And. Some people know the rules, but they don't know what they're called. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a whole process. So, here's what we made tonight. Let me get all the triangle ones together. Okay, so we made some awesome tuck spots, and then these could be used as tuck spots or pockets. So, there we go. Four strips, well, technically six strips of paper, a flower, a photo, and one of these little words. Look how cute that is, you guys. I suck yacht. <laughs> so that was it was a pretty productive night. So I'm really thankful to you guys. Thank you guys for keeping me entertained enough to keep me focused. <laughs> Honestly, it really helps to have an audience so I can keep focus and be productive. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. So I will see you guys tomorrow at 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time trying out something new. I don't know what I'm going to be doing. Probably some more embellishments or I don't know. 
come and check it out. Find out for yourself <laughs> what I end up doing. So thank you guys so much. I will see you guys next time uh, when we'll be doing some other junk journal, junky things. I want to say thank you to Dale for joining me. Thank you, Christy. Thank you, Jane, Teresa, Patricia, Jane, Lori, Eula, Judy, Jane, uh, Sass, Jane, everybody. Thank you guys so much. Thank you to all the cool kids for joining me. And check out the mini faux vintage photos in my shop. All the links will be down below. I do appreciate you guys coming and hanging out with me together tonight. Bye, Betty. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out, you guys.